Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And what you'll see there is that the global equity market has taken a little bit of, uh, of, of a slump this morning after having kind of edged slightly higher in the last couple of sessions. Uh, yesterday we did manage to get on the US 30 just a hair's breadth away from 18,000 uh, only for it just to uh, kind of move that a little bit lower. And we've got currently a bearish engulfing pattern on the daily candlesticks right now uh, with 17,747 still being the potential support, which also coincide with that 21 period SMA. So then looking at the UK 100, um, following on a similar path, the UK 100 actually had a pretty decent day yesterday, uh, but we have seen a little bit of a turnaround in some of the equ uh, some of the commodity markets, of which the UK 100 is quite heavily exposed. So that does give you a bit of an idea about where we are just now. It just reversed quite close to potential resistance at 6,415. Um, and just towards the bottom end of its range at the time of recording this video. Looking at the interim day charts, actually the US 30 is one that's coming off the most. Germany 30 is okay, and the uh, UK 100 is just ever so slightly turning around. So then looking at Japan 225, you can see bearish engulfing pattern again, just below uh, potential resistance at 20,087. Um, then moving on to dollar yen. Dollar yen has been just uh, considering everybody's talking about the US dollar strengthening. Uh, I'm looking at the other uh, charts just now, and it doesn't really look that way to me with uh, euro dollar spiking higher, dollar yen moving lower. Uh, Japan just came out with the, their lowest unemployment data release in 20 years. So that's maybe giving you a bit of an idea about Japanese yen. Maybe the economy is not so much in need of stimulus as people thought, but unemployment is at such a low level. So um, the number of people that are working is uh, highest it's been in 20 years. So uh, 121 spot 87 is the next potential support level. We're now trading below the 21 period SMA. So moving on to West Texas crude. Uh, failure to break through $42, pushed it lower yesterday, it's pushing it lower again this morning, ever so slightly. Uh, looks to be $42 will be an, an, an important level uh, on Friday. Then looking at gold, the yellow metal it is moving lower again, uh, just uh, below potential support at 1072 Next potential support after that is around about 150 So then finishing up with euro dollar and GBP USD. So euro dollar uh, not doing a huge amount this morning. It's been slowly just kind of drifting lower the last couple of sessions. A little bit of a bounce this morning. Short term spike on the interday charts on my other screen with one spot 0524 being the next potential support. And then if we do move on to cable, GBP USD, these long legged -like candles are getting sh they're getting higher and higher and higher. That could be an indicative of some uh, buying interest. If it wasn't for the fact on the opposite side, we've got almost a series of lows right here. So this could look like a mini symmetrical triangle formation. You're going to get a break in one direction or the other. But one spot 51.10 is short term potential resistance and one spot 50.27 is short term potential support. So. Economic data wise, uh, at 9.30 a.m. UK time, you've got UK GDP, that will be good for cable and UK 100. And then at uh, 12 uh, uh, p.m. UK time, you do also have the Consumer Confidence Index for Germany. And then going through the weekend, we've got nothing on Saturday and Sunday, so no Chinese data. And then Monday the 30th, we've got German retail sales and uh, CPI and a housing index. And then let's have a quick look at Tuesday as well. Tuesday brings with us um, Chinese PMI. You've got Eurozone unemployment, uh, not Eurozone, but German unemployment and PMI data, Eurozone PMI, UK PMI, uh, and a host of retail sales for the US, and then finishing up with US PMI data as well. So it's not until kind of Tuesday next week that you actually begin to get uh, a flurry of quite useful and interesting macro data uh, for which to trade the markets. So guys, keep your eye on the chart form as ever, make insights part of the day going forward, and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.